Hi everyone, in this video we will be downloading and configuring reporting services. So there are two ways to do this. One, you could go back to the installation center, the installation, and select install SQL Server reporting services. And this will take you to the website. I'll also have this link so you can go to it directly. Download. And I'll pause for this. Once it's done, go ahead and open it up and run. Select, choose the edition. We are doing developer. Accept the terms, next. Install reporting services only, next. And go ahead and install. Okay, so now we will go to configure report server. Okay, so it's recognizing our local server here. And the instance is just the default. Connect. So by default, this is already started up. And what we need to do here is go, the first thing we should do here is go to database. Select change database because we need to actually have a place for the reporting server to store all of the reports that we build and all of the data sources, the files, etc. So click this here and we will say create a new one. Next. Here we need to indicate the server and this is where we need to actually specify the one we created. So it's our local machine and demo because remember we created the instance name as demo. So that's that's what we want to put here. Test connection. Okay, great. Next. Database name. This is just what the database is going to be called on the server. We'll just keep this as is. Next. So here it's now asking for us to provide credentials for the server to connect to the database. And ultimately we can leave this as is because we're just doing this on a local, you know, a local setup here. But you could also switch it. You could put in the service, the server credentials. If you remember, we had from the other video, we set this up, the default SA, and we gave it a password. You could use that here. But for our sake, just for simplicity, we will use service credentials. Next. And this is, again, this is okay for us for now. Not a big deal because we're doing it locally. So uh, click OK. Next. And it will do this all for us. All right, success, finish. So now we've set up the database. It has a place to store all of the information, all of the reports and everything else. The next thing we need to do is set up the actual URL where we're going to host the web service. This isn't, the, this isn't going to be the URL where we access the report. It's for the service to host. So we can keep this, just keep this all as is for now and click apply. Okay, so now let's test this link out. It's asking for your username. This is this is your Windows user. Okay, so it connected. No errors. There's nothing on it, but we got through. So now let's go back. We did the database. The service account, and we're just going to leave that alone. Web portal URL. So this is where we're actually going to be able to see the reports, open them up, and use them on a website. So let's just click apply. We're going to leave it default. And let's check it out. Service unavailable. Refresh. All right. At this point, there are a couple other things that we could set up, but in terms of bare bones, getting it ready to roll, we are done. The last thing I'd like to show you is how it looks in the database now that we created it. So let's let's open up SQL Server Management Studio. Connect. And if we open up databases now, we'll see 
this new, these two new ones were added. And this is where all of the information for our reports, our data sources, the users, execution history, this is where this is all going to be stored and Microsoft does this automatically during the installation. So this is all set and in the next video we will download Report Builder and start to build out some reports connected to these databases. Thanks a lot.